truly care for, love, and respect all of our animal stars. On behalf of everyone here at Universal Animal Actors, we hope you have a great time and enjoy the show. And now, please welcome one of Hollywood's top animal trainers, Miss Amanda Hernandez. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Universal's Animal Actors. My name's Amanda, and this is my friend, Manu. We both work for a company that's been training animals for movies and television for over 50 years. Now, most people don't know is that many of their favorite animal stars come from rescues and shelters. And just like Manu, they got their training right here on this stage in front of a live audience. In a little while, we're going to reveal what it took for animal stars to make it on the big screen. Meantime, sweetie, you're all set. Off you go. Okay, let's get this show started with a little friend of mine from Ace Ventura Pet Detective. This is Ollie. Hey there, Ollie. Ollie's a mandate conure, and we've trained him to fly to person to person. To help demonstrate this, I'm gonna need some help. How about an adult volunteer? Somewhere halfway up in this midsection, and it does need to be an adult. Okay, I'm in the tank top, and perfect. Go ahead and stand up for me. Please stay there and take out a dollar bill. Now, the reason why I ask her to take out a dollar is that Ollie might feel uncomfortable flying to somebody he doesn't recognize. So, as seen in Universal 7 Almighty, We've trained our birds to fly to a common object. In this case, it happens to be a dollar. Great, fold it in half. Fold it in half one more time. Place it in between two fingers. Extend your arm out straight to your side. Palm down. Ollie's gonna see that and know exactly where our actress is located. Wow. Whoop. Let's try that again. I don't know why you did a flyby. Go ahead and switch hands for me. And this time, make sure you let go when he comes to you. Let's try this again. Okay, we'll do a little circle, reset. I don't know why you paused on that, but that's okay. Something happened. <laughs> that mean no, you don't want to go? Okay, what I'm going to try and do is have you come out to the aisle for me. Something over there must have spooked him a little bit, but that is okay. So we are going to work our way through this. And this time when you're out in the aisle, go ahead and switch hands one more time. If not, we might have to get your stunt double. Stay very still. Let go. Perfect! Fun little training session. Thanks. Enjoy the show. <laughs> Whoever here is a twenty-dollar bill. Okay. She's being a good sport, Ollie. Let's get the dollar back to her. Go ahead and stand up for me again. We are going to make it easier on the bird, though, this time. Go ahead and extend both arms out. 
Now you flap really hard and fly on down here and get it. <laughs> One arm out. Palm facing up like a little landing pad. Go ahead and take it right back where you found it. Excellent job for Ollie. There we go. Or Blackie. No, Ollie. I get all my birds for you. Thank you so much for volunteering. You're all set, my friends. Off you go. Great job. Check it out. That's our stage hand. Not only do we get to work with cute, adorable birds like Ollie, but sometimes we get to challenge ourselves with something larger, like a bird of prey. As seen in Universal's Lady Hawk, Matthew Broderick catches this hawk with both precision and grace in a spectacular feat of flight. We'd like to recreate that movie magic right here. Focus your attention to the back of the arena. In the small closed box is a star from 310 to Yuma. Everybody have a seat and watch your heads. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Arrow. part of the raptor family, a group of birds consisting of hawks, eagles, kites, falcons, vultures, and owls. We'd like to introduce you to a cousin of arrows in a rare close-up appearance. Please say hello to Olympus and Iris. giant fan, a green screen, and a little bit of movie magic, we can transport our animals anywhere we want to. First step, we need an animal star. Please welcome out our stunt bird, Pepper, a blue and gold macaw. <laughs> Pepper's trainer is going to place her in front of a strong current of wind, and we're going to film it. your dogs into movies and television. It all starts out with some basic training. And to help demonstrate this, please welcome out a star from the movie Clifford. This is Baxter. Hello, Baxter. Baxter was in the movie. He was also the puppy model for Clifford. Say hello. Good. Before our dogs can go onto a movie set, they do need to know basic hand and verbal cues. And one of the most important tools we use on the set is something called a mark. It can be anything from a piece of tape, a rock. Here at the show, we use a black circle. We're gonna demonstrate the use of the mark and several other behaviors that Baxter knows. First, I'm just gonna take the mark, place it over there, and he's gonna stand on it. Excellent, pretty simple. Thanks. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna take some of his treats. I'm gonna place them in front of him. What I want him to do is simply look at those treats and respond to my verbal commands as I step behind him. Perhaps I need to be off camera, so he needs to look at those treats and respond. Watch it, good. Watch, watch, sit, <laughs> sit, <laughs> sit, <laughs> no. wrong word, on your mark, calm down, sit, <laughs> sit, <laughs> lie down, lie down, <laughs> on your mark, Hello, Mark. Good. Quiet. Quiet. 
gets a little excited during the shows. Stay. Watch it. Lie down. Oh. On your feet, stay. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> Lie down. Side. Side. Uh, uh, side. <laughs> Head down. Head down. <laughs> stay. On your feet, stay. <laughs> some basic, basic behaviors again. Good. Good. Get on your mark. such as a hat, t-shirt, pants, shoes, shorts, socks. What I need you to do is just stay in your seat, lean over and whisper to Muggsy, two items of clothing. He's gonna race backstage and bring them back out for us one at a time. Okay, whisper now. Excellent job, race on back there. Folks, this is not a trick. Muggsy's taking his direction from our fine young actress. He brought out a hat. Did you ask for a hat, yes or no? Yes. Folks, we got the first one right. Great job, you two. Here's a little Scooby Snap for you, going back there again. So this should be a 100% show. I'm not too sure what you asked for, but don't worry, he is tuned in. He's digging through that pile and whoa, wait a minute, where did you get this? I am so sorry about that. Uh, that was Muggsy's girlfriend. You're doing an excellent job. Go ahead and stand up for me. Give a big wave to your Hollywood fans out there. Big wave. Nice to Take a bow. One more thing. Sit. <laughs> Good girl. You're well trained. I'm just kidding with you. You're doing an excellent job. I'm going to keep you around for one more scene. Take a walk with me. When our dogs on a movie set, they have to audition just like actors. The director might ask for a variety of behaviors, such as going around, under, over, or through things. It's our job as their trainers to show them how to do this. So we're gonna have our own audition right here. Please make some noise for Animal Stars. We've got Maddie and Denver. We're gonna split the audience into cheering sections. This side of the audience, folks, you're gonna be cheering on Maddie. Maddie was in a recent Chewy.com commercial, so let's show her some encouragement. After I say action, I want this side to make as much noise as possible. Let's give it a shot. Lights, camera, action. Dapper, 
Dapper. Dapper was in an episode of WandaVision. You know what to do. Lights, camera, action! <laughs> Needs to jump over our human hurdle, maneuver their way through the poles, run through the chute, jump back over our actress, and finish off by ringing the bell. We can only audition one dog at a time, and it looks like Miss Maddie's up first. Folks, go ahead and make some noise. Lights, camera, action! Wait, he's saying to the cat! Hold on! 